Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're making Mjolnir or Thor's hammer as it's commonly known. For this build you're going to need a lot of tasers, like most likely four. After thoroughly testing the tasers, disassemble and remove everything. Now each taser has a three position switch. First position is off, middle position is safety with the red light coming on to warn you that it's getting ready to be armed. And the final upright position is the taser position. So when it's in the middle position, you'll turn the flashlight on far up position is red for armed and bottom is off so you'll see the flashlight come on here in a second and that's like the safety position to let you know you're about to arm the taser so right here you can see the safety and then if you keep pushing the little button up you'll get to the arm state with the red led on so remove everything we only need the internal components not the case And FYI, you're probably going to avoid the warranty of your taser, so <laughs> just throwing that out there. Now this is the main circuit board, this is the battery, and this is the charging port. And you can see here a switch in between the off, armed, and fire position. Now, you're going to basically repeat this process and disassemble all four tasers completely. You want to be kind of careful because these tasers are made kind of cheaply, so be kind of careful when you uh, are handling the internal wires. You can see here these white wires go to the ground, and since we're not going to be using this arm safety like uh, LED flashlight, we're gonna desolder this light and use the negatively going to it for our common ground. So we're gonna connect the common ground together for all the tasers. And we're also gonna connect all the tasers up to one trigger. Now I'm just testing this on two tasers because if I mess something up and fry something, I still have two more tasers to work with. So always work small before you scale up. And right here I'm connecting the common grounds and I'm desoldering one of the triggers and connecting them to the other one. So when I push this button, it will fire all the tasers at once. In this case, the two tasers I have connected right now. Now when I first turned this on, I heard this high pitching electrical charge sound, so that's where the gloves came in. I'm not trying to shock myself. The problem here was that when I was taking this apart, the uh, metal wires that arcs the electricity, they were too far apart. So once I moved them back into the original position of like half an inch apart, everything worked fine. But it took me a second to uh, <laughs> figure that out. Now this one I actually had to drill the screws out because they were starting to strip and since I knew what I was doing at this point I wasn't really concerned about uh, damaging anything else. Now as you can see here I wired all the tasers together so all tasers are wired to the trigger. I'm turning on the power circuit for all the boards and this is important like make sure all the boards are turned on and here we go it's working. And here you can see the original distance was about half an inch. Now for the fun part, fitting all of this in the hammer. I'm kind of figuring out where I want the button to be. This felt like a good position, so I just marked it quick. 
And something to note here, you'll see how the handle screws into the hammer. This is something that I kind of had to figure out as I was putting it together. So the game plan here is to basically cut a hole for the trigger mechanism in the handle. I'll feed through a servo wire that I'll later connect once the handle is screwed in. And it finally fits after like an hour of sanding. And here we're going to drill the hole for the servo wire that's going to be connected once the hammer's handle is screwed in. I was actually really surprised by the quality of this uh, this replica. It actually looks really good, and the front and back plate are attached with these magnets, which makes my life so much easier. Oh, also, you gotta make sure you're following the directions, so make sure you take care of any warning signs because, you know, you don't wanna break any laws. After that's taken care of, you wanna cut holes in the center of the hammer. And these are going to be used for feeding through your copper wires to the front of the hammer and also you're going to want to cut a hole in the back and that's going to be used for charging the tasers and also turning them on and off when you're done using it. Now here I'm just putting masking tape and this is the head of the hammer. This is where the uh, copper wires are going to make contact which are going to arc the electricity. Now if you remember, we need to space these out half an inch since that was the distance of the uh, factory taser. So I'm just copying that distance of half an inch throughout the uh, entire face of the hammer. And right now I'm just making sure all the lines are spaced out evenly half an inch and then I'm going to kind of shade them in with where I want the electricity to arc back and forth. So when I went to Home Depot, they only had stranded copper wire. So what I ended up doing was soldering the ends of the copper wire together. So that way when I tried feeding them through these little holes, it didn't grab the ends of the wire, like the strands and pull it apart. And here you can see the final product. Everything actually looks really nice. Now for the back end, you'll see that I have these bare copper wires and you're gonna wanna insulate these so they don't arc and make the connection behind the plate and you don't get to see it. So right now I'm using liquid electrical tape to kind of insulate these wires on the back end. Now I probably could have hot glued this from the start, but initially I thought this would be a good option or it would work better, but it took forever for the coats to dry. After about my second or third coat, I just used a bunch of hot glue to insulate the wires. And you'll see I also labeled the wires in pairs so I knew what white wire went to what copper strand. And now for the final assembly. So right now I'm gonna use a piece of painter's tape to kind of tape this down so I can screw it into the head of the hammer. 
and I'm just using a very small piece so once it's totally installed I can use tweezers and pull that wire through the uh, opening in the back of the hammer. And that's it for this build guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to do a video every two weeks, so that gives me one week to shoot the video and one week to edit. Please comment below on what you'd like me to build next and I'll see if I can do it.